Okay. So how do you define consent? Consent to me is um, active, enthusiastic, unfiltered, unchanged by culture, um, pure in its own way, yeses. Yes means yes, no means no. And both or all parties have to say yes affirmatively, verbally, in ways that there can be no confusion at all. And if a person agree and initially, but they disagree later on, that's mean uh, current status, that's not consent. And if I have silence, then I'm probably in shock or I'm traumatized in the process of being traumatized. Has your sexual consent ever been broken and at what age? My adopted brother decided that he wanted to like feel me up. I was so young, I didn't really know what was happening, and I didn't know to say no kind of a thing. My abuser at the time um, was kind of pushing me towards consenting. I said, I guess, or maybe, and he just took it as, uh, okay. And he did it in this like weird sort of loving way. Um, <clears throat> and I think at some point I said, hey, let's, you know, at the beginning of hanging out one time, I said like, that, I don't think we should do that anymore. Like, I'm not really into that anymore. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we should stop trying. And then within the hour, it was happening again. I think I just went along with it because I felt like he knew it was best. You know, I feel really sensitive when people get sad. And he could trip me for, um, but I say, if I don't do this, he's gonna cry. He's not gonna talk to me. I told him not, not to touch me. And he does it anyway. Oh, he's in inviting me to his room, um, maybe I'll play video games with him, like someone will play video games with me. It's, I don't know, it's like a, a cool experience. And when he closed the door behind me, he told me to drop my shorts. And I was like, uh, well, now that I look back at it, it's just, why did he do that? We had already gone to sleep. I remember being hazily woken up and he was on top of me, and my pants were down. And in the morning, I tried asking why he did that, and he denied that it ever happened. And um, I never brought it up again, but I, I just knew it happened. Do you have anything you would want to say to the person who hurt you? He should reevaluate his entire life. Fuck you. You know, like... What, like every day I think this, of like what part of your brain justified your actions? Like fuck you for ruining my self esteem and how I perceived the world and how I perceived myself and for all the years of guilt and blame I put on myself and for all of the all of the days that I couldn't let people touch me or I couldn't even think about sex or I, you know, had to deal with other traumatic events relating sex and having to just think back on this instance of just like, well, that happened, you know, and it just like, like robbing me. I hope you don't do that again without a discussion about it. We're just acknowledging that it's something you did. Even though you were older, and even though you're a sex-positive, ultra-sweet, liberal dude who's loved by all, like, you don't know what's best for me because I'm the only one living in my body. I've been touched so many times by so many people, by friends, by partners, by people on the street, and it's an awful feeling to turn around and be so surprised that someone just reached out and touched your body and... Yeah, it's awful. It's I find it hard to trust people nowadays. I'm not trying to say that men are untrustworthy, or all men are untrustworthy. But to look back on these situations, it is always best to tell someone. It is always best to report an unbearable thing such as a consent being broken.
You should never have to deal with something alone. And people that break consent, they should know better. How would they feel if their consent would be broken?